course, it is Mother's Day weekend, and for the uh, weather forecast on this very nice weekend, for all the moms, Josh, what do you got? Well, uh, it looks like Mom's Day is actually going to be really nice, but if you want to turn it into kind of a festival, Mom's Week, it's going to be hot. I like that <laughs> idea. Festival, <laughs> Spoken great. from uh, our, one of our favorite moms here this weekend. Uh, take a look outside. A little hazy as we uh, see our perch here at Mount Wilson, taking a look at uh, Southern California. A really uh, a nice day today. Temperatures were still running a little bit below average because we had a little marine layer this morning. But let's get you the Mom's Day forecast. So it's 68 degrees in the basin right now. Our valley communities are into the 70s, 74 degrees. Nice evening. 70 three for the Inland Empire. Beaches are into the 60s right now. 50s for our mountain communities in the high desert into the 60s. And you can see mostly sunny skies across the board. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to pump that temperature up a little bit. We're going to hit some 80s for the basin, the valleys, the Inland Empire. It is going to be windy though. We've got high wind warnings and red flag warnings that are going to be kicking in because of those gusty winds. But temperature wise, it is going to be nice for Mom's Day. So temperatures, as you see around Southern California, 60s and 70s, not too bad. What do you need to wear tomorrow for Mother's Day? Short sleeves, definitely. And then as we make our way through this work week, it's going to be the theme of light, loose fitting clothing because it's going to be warm. Gusty winds to go along with it. 72 for your high, 74 is where we should be for this time of year. 95 and 43 are those record numbers on this date. So we take a look at temperature trends. It's really interesting because we've had a run since basically Tuesday where we've been running below average. 68s, 71, 72. It's really been nice, but it's been below average. Well, that all changes as we make our way through the week because there's an inside slider dropping into the four corner states. Well, what's that mean? Pull the picture back, kind of show you what's going on. Area of low pressure right here. This is going to dive down into the four corner states. These four here. That's why we call them the four corners because they all meet right there. And as it dives down, the air circulates around that low counterclockwise and high pressures building in on the other side of it. These two systems working together give us an offshore flow. Now, the reason we call it an inside slider is because if the batter were here, the ball sort of, tra or actually the batter's on this side, the ball travels in them like that. So that's why we call it an inside slider. But when it happens, we get gusty winds, we get an offshore flow, and we get dry conditions out there as well. That's why we have the red flag warnings in effect. Here's your wind future cast. Let me show you what happens here. You can see how those winds turn around to an offshore flow, and we are off to the races with some warm temperatures tomorrow, but even warmer through the week because high pressure is really going to build in. Take a look at it. 82 for tomorrow, 90 degrees on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh my God goodness 94 to 96 probably some 100s out there 94 on Thursday we're going to keep it warm on Friday this whole week it's going to be a hot one back to you guys